Well, this is Douglas Allen Frazier with By My Spirit. By my spirit today, by the Holy Spirit today, we're going to bring you a message that I believe will give you a new look of how God wants you to focus upon Him and upon the things that He has set for you to do. And it matters not what your age is or where you are in life or exactly what you might be doing now, but God has a plan and some ideas and some thoughts that he wants you to focus upon. Let me share with you a scripture and then I'm going to go with... In this scripture, I'm going to share some testimony and then also a word of prophecy, a portion of it, that I received this morning from a dear prophet friend of mine from West Africa. But if you would look in the scriptures in the book of Proverbs, the book of Proverbs and chapter 4 and... Verse 25, and I'll go through verse 27. And I'm reading from the New King James Version. And it says this, starting in verse 25. Let your eyes look directly ahead and let your gaze be fixed straight in front of you. Watch the path of your feet. And all your ways will be established. Do not turn to the right nor to the left. Turn your foot from evil. (coughs) You may have heard a portion of that before. I know as I was thinking upon and looked upon the words that I would try to share, I'm going, I don't think the word focused is in Scripture. It might be through the form of a translation from Greek or Hebrew, but I was looking strictly in, as I said, the New King James. And so I came upon the word of kind of look, look at, Gaze. And when we gaze, we have to be focused. You know, you've heard the term, I'm going to gaze upon the horizon. It means you're going to look intently, intentionally, of what's out there. Just like we had the eclipse, the total solar eclipse that captured all the attention here in the United States and even around the world, people were focused on that event. And of course, they were warned to have special glasses to protect their eyes. But you see, that required that they were intentionally going to focus their attention upon that event wherever they were. We were in our living room watching it on TV. That's where we wanted to be. And it was good. It was fun. And it was amazing to see what was taking place. And you see, that's what God has for us. When we intentionally focus upon him, we gaze upon him, upon the plans that he has for us, upon his word, we're going to see some great things take place. I'd just like to add this in as a portion because it is so significant. For the past several months, two, three, maybe even four months, 
I have been praying and asking God to give me a focus upon the new season that I just entered. I just turned 71. You know, years ago, 71, to me, that was quite uh, an age. Today, it's just another day, another place that God has placed me, and I'm excited about it. And I, I looked at some of the things that I had gone through in my life, and I knew that, you know, some things do slow down. I was talking to one of my friends that I can't believe they're actually 80 in the 81. And we were talking about how a lot of things kind of get slowed down. And I started recognizing that. And so I asked God intentionally, I have to have a focus. Where do you want me to focus my time, my energies, etc.? And as I thought about it, Quite a number of years ago now, I was on a trip with two of my friends. We were going to a prayer meeting out in East Texas. And we spent the, the night somewhere here up in the Fort Worth, Dallas area. I'm not exactly sure exactly where we were. We were staying at the friend of one of my friends at their house. I had never met this person before. Uh, they were great folks, great hosts, and we had a great time. But as we were kind of sharing different aspects of how God had been working into our life, and I have to, I just have to share with you a major portion of this. I had not been and received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, but maybe about a couple of years. So I was still learning. I was still trying to see and learn and understand what God would have for me in, in this new place that I had entered into, a place that I had heard of but didn't really understand. And yet when it happened, it was a great event in my life that transformed my whole life. But on this night, this man who I had never met said something that really shook me at that time. He said, you are going to need to become more focused in the things that God would have you to do. And the reason I say I was kind of shaken by this is because my life, almost all of it, particularly, I guess from the time I was in junior high, well, even before junior high, I had been doing lots of different things. Some of them well, some of them very well, and some of them just so-so. But I was involved in many, many different things. And that's just the way I worked through my life. When I joined the military, there was lots of things I had to do. I had a military life. I had a family life. I also had a business life. I had a church life. There are many different aspects of my life. And it was like the story of of a juggler that's got 10 or 12 different plates spinning on a stick, and he's got to go around and keep them all spinning. Well, that was a part of my life. And like I said, most of those plates I kept spinning really good. And I was good at what I did. And so I heard that prophetic word given to me, and I was kind of taken back by it. And I'll put it this way, I kind of, not kind of, I did, I put it to the side. But now, over the last few months, 
even the last couple years, I've seen a lot of these plates that I had spinning are not spinning that much anymore. They're still going. And I've still tried to keep up with all of the different things, activities that I've got going on. And you know what? There's a whole bunch of added plates that I really don't need, to be quite honest with you. There's a lot of, I'll just say, the social media aspect of my life can become overwhelming. And it can be invasive, it can be disruptive, it can be distracting. And so you can lose your focus on what God really has for you. And I began to recognize that as being a part of a challenge in my life. And that's where I started asking the Lord, where do you want me to be focused? How do you want me to be focused? And this morning, I woke up. I woke up and I thank God for the beginning of a new day. And I did what I just do out of habit. I picked up my cell phone, turned it to, first of all, emails that I'm may have received during the night, looked quickly at that, and then turned over to Facebook quickly to see what was there. But in Messenger, in my Messenger section, there was a message from my prophet friend, Revival, in West Africa. And I'm going to make it very simple because I had not talked to him about my my prayers. I have not seen revival face to face in, oh my goodness, too many years. It's turning almost to 10 years since we have been together face to face, hand to hand, brother to brother. But what he shared was basically God is saying you need to be focused in this time. God wants you to be focused particularly and intentionally upon your relationship with him because he has a task for you. I'll just leave it right there, but that's the bottom line of what I received this morning and I just I just as I read it I just went thank you Lord you were listening you've been listening to my prayers and you've given me a confirmation because within it there was an area where Revival said you need to be focused. I'm not going to share that right now because it's going to be something that I'm going to be developing. It's not something that you do just overnight because some of the things he told me was you got to give up your activities in politics, your, your activities with sports, your activities with the internet and uh, the social nets, etc. In other words, I'm going to have to change my focus and my intentionality. And you see, he knew that those things, because those are the things, a lot of those things I share. So what I'm saying is, To each one of you that are listening to this, God has a focus that he wants you to have. Because you see, his focus is upon you. His focus is upon you. And he doesn't want you to get all tripped up and not knowing where you're going. And I saw this as I was reading also in Psalms. 
In Psalm 40, I saw this. And I, I saw how this fit in to what God would want to show me today. And it was this. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me, and he heard my cry. And in verse 2, and he set my feet upon a rock, making my footsteps firm. Verse 3, he put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and will trust in the Lord. And at verse 4, How blessed is the man who has made the Lord his trust. You see, that was actually what I was praying for, that the Lord would show me where I need to move to and how to put my focus upon him and what he would have me to do. So I'm saying to you, ask God, ask your Heavenly Father to share with you the focal point that he wants to bring into your life. And in order for you to do that, for him to do that for you, you have to intentionally focus in upon him. That means just as the word that was given to me today, and I've known this, I felt this in my spirit, and that's why I say, that's why I say, to each of you, I had been feeling this for several months that there are some things I needed to, to move away from so I could see where I needed to go, to see and to feel that God was drawing me into a more, I'll put it this way, a more intimate relationship with him as father to son, son to father. And so I am just elated. Now, it's going to take an effort. It's going to take an effort on my part to work in the areas where I need to be focused, where I have been called at this time to fulfill and to accomplish both the vision and the mission that God is setting out before me. So Lord, we thank you. We thank you and we give you praise that in all things you have a plan for our life. That you have a design that is perfect in all of its ways and you want us to move forward into the limitless destiny that you have established for us. It's in your plan for us. But Lord... We need to come to you and we have to ask you, share with us the focus. Help us to move into the area that you want us to move into. Let us put down those things that would keep us away from moving in to the place where you want to bless us, or the place you want to give us favor where you want to pour out your goodness and your mercy upon us, where you want to see us set in the place where we represent you in all areas of life, 
so that we will set up a testimony that will help others to see their way, to come to you, to know your peace, to know your deliverance, to know your salvation, to know your healing, to know your provision, to know your blessings. And we thank you for it all. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. Come back and listen again to By My Spirit.